PC Electronics. This is a video on ISRO Scientist Electronic Post Preparation. We have been doing the questions on the control system subject. In the last video also we have discussed some questions from this subject. And in this video we will be seeing little more difficult questions on the control system subject. Okay, so while explaining the each questions, I will try to cover the theory topics or the terms associated with each questions also. So let's see what are the questions. The first question that we are going to discuss today is this. The pole zero diagram of a unity feedback system is shown below. This is a pole zero plot. The closed loop transfer function of unity positive feedback system is what? So this is uh, some of the transfer functions given and out of which which represent the transfer function of a closed loop, closed loop system that is a closed loop positive feedback system. So you know that uh, the closed loop systems or control systems are basically of two types that are the systems with positive feedback and the systems with negative feedback. Now if you represent a system with negative feedback it will be like this. There is a from the variables. So this represent the output function and R represent the input function that is C is the Laplace transform of your output and R is the Laplace transform of your input. So, your R of S, let be it be the, the Laplace transform of your input, output B C of S, there is a gain, there is a system transform function. Okay, so this represents the system, that is a closed loop system with what feedback? With a negative feedback. So, if you see here, the input is being subtracted from the uh, feedback or these two signals are being subtracted out of phase. Okay, so that is happening in a closed loop system with the negative feedback. And the, uh, the closed loop transfer function of such a system is represented by C of S by R of S equal to G of S into H of S by 1 minus g of s into h of s okay so it will be like this only so c of s h of s sorry g of s h of s by 1 minus g of s into h of s now we have not given g of s or h of s or anything but we have been given the what the pole zero plot so First, let us try to find what is the value of our h of s. h of s is the transfer function. Now, in order to find this transfer function, they have given the pole zero plot. And from this pole zero plot, we can see that the poles are at s equal to minus 2 and s equal to minus 1. That is the value of s equal to minus 2 and minus 1. So, the factors are s plus 2 and s plus 1 are the the denominator of your h of s function okay so you can write the h of s function as h of s equal to 1 by s plus 2 into s plus 1 now there is no zeros so it is only having poles so we generally write it as h of s equal to 1 by s plus 2 into s plus 1 and also it is given that the system is a unity gain feedback system so we can write the g of s h of s as k by s plus 2 into s plus 1 okay so this is the representation of your of your open loop system that is g of s h of s this is a representation of your open loop system where s plus 2 and s plus 1 are the poles and it is said that it is having a unity gain and we use a k k by s plus 2 into s plus 1 where k is some constant. So this is the g of s h of s value of your open loop system. Now we need to find what the closed loop transfer function and in order to find the closed loop transfer function we have to apply the g of s h of s we already have this to this term. So I'm going to remove this. Okay so this is just the expansion of your c of s by r of s term. So what is it? k by s plus 2 into s plus 1 by 1 minus k by s plus 2 into s plus 1. Okay. So 
this and this will get cancelled. So you can take this S plus 2 into S plus 1 here minus K. That is your expansion is K by S plus 2 into S plus 1 minus K is your is your closed loop transfer function. Okay, so this is your C of S by R of S where C of S is your output Laplace and R of S is your input Laplace or C of S, C variable is your output function and R is, R is your input function. Okay, so the correct answer for this question is, let us see the options and write it once again. Okay, C of S by R of S is equal to K by S plus 2 into S plus 1 minus K. So, this is your answer. Now, let us look at the options. A, C of S by R of S is K by S plus 2 into S plus 1. It is a wrong option. B, C of S by R of S equal to minus K. No, it is not. Now, C, C of S by R of S equal to K by S plus 1 into S plus 2 minus K, which is your correct option. And your last option, C of S by R of S equal to K by S plus 1 into S plus 2 plus K is also wrong. So, the correct answer for this question is your option C, which is K by S plus 1 into S plus 2 minus K. A linear time invariant system initially addressed when subjected to a unit step input given a response y of t equal to t into a raised to minus t for t greater than 0. The transfer function of the system. So, this is a direct question. You are given the input which is a what unit step and your output function is also given in terms of time. Now, you need to find the, these all are in terms of what Laplace transform. Now, you need to find the transform function in terms of Laplace transform. So, the options are A, 1 plus S, uh, 1 by S plus 1 square, B, 1 by S into S plus 1 square, C, S by S plus 1 square, D, 1 by S plus 1 square. Now, what all things are given in the question? The input function is given X of T. X of T is what? Is a unit step function. Let it be u of t. Now, what is the value of its Laplace transform? That is x of s is 1 by s. The Laplace transform of a unit step function is 1 by s. Okay. Now, let this be 1. Now, the output function y of t is given as t into e raised to minus t for, for t greater than 0. Now, what is the Laplace transform of this t into e raised to minus t? That is y of s is equal to 1 by s plus 1 the whole square is your Laplace transform. Now, you need to find what transfer function. What is transfer function? Transfer function is equal to y of s by x of s. So, you need to find y of s by x of s. You have your, let this be 2. You have your y of s, you have your x of s. So, simply substitute the value and find the answer. Okay, so what is this? I'm writing it here. Okay, I'll write it here. y of s is 1 by s plus 1 the whole square by 1 by s. So, that is equal to 1 by s plus 1 the whole square into s by 1. That is equal to s by s plus 1 the whole square is your answer. So, the correct answer is s by s plus 1 the whole square. So, correct option is option C. So, option C is your transfer function of this linear time invariant system. The state variable representation of a system is given as x dash x1 dash t x2 dash t is equal to 0, 1, 0, minus 1, x1 of t, x2 of t. So, this is the state uh, variable representation of x of t and y of t. So, y of t is equal to 0, 1 into x1 of t into x2 of t and x of 0 is given as 1 and 0. Okay, now you need to find the value of this y of t. Okay, so what is the value of y of t? Is it sine of t? That is a sine of t, b 1 minus e raised to t, c 1 minus cos t or d 0. So, this is a state variable representation. Now, how do you represent the state variable representation in the form of state transition matrix? So, that is uh, how will you represent it in Laplace transform. 
it is like this that is x of s is given as phi of s into x of 0. Okay. So, this is how you represent uh, the state variable uh, in the form of state transition matrix into x of 0 or it is a Laplace representation. Now, what is this phi of s is the state transition matrix and this state transition matrix phi of s is represented as s i minus a inverse. Okay, so these are the basic things you should know. Now, s i minus a inverse. Now, what is this s? s is the Laplace transform matrix. Now, i is the identity matrix. a is the a is a state matrix and where from where will you get this A? Here it is given x dash x1 dash of t x2 dash of t is equal to 0 1 0 minus 1 into x means this is the what that is a state matrix or A. This is your A. Okay. So from the questions you should be able to figure out these things. Now if I have my A I can find my phi of s right. Okay. So I have my phi of s. Now, how will you find my phi of s? Phi of s equal to what? S i minus a inverse. Okay. So, I am going to find this. S will be. So, here it is a 2 by 2 matrix. So, s 0, s 0 into i means s 0, s 0. Sorry. It is 0 s. Hmm. Okay. Into i means same as that. Minus a. Here a is 0. 1, 0 and minus 1. Okay. So, that is your state matrix. Now, if you solve this, you will get S. S minus 0 is S. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. Then 0 minus 0 is 0. Yes. Minus of minus 1 is S plus 1. So, this is your inverse is there. Okay. So, this is your state transition matrix or phi of S. Now, we have your phi of s. Just substitute the value of phi of s in this equation. Okay. I'll substitute and I'll show s minus 1, 0, s plus 1 inverse into x of 0. What is x of 0? 0 and 1. Okay. Now you have uh, you have 0 and 1 as x of 0 and you have your uh, state transition matrix also. Now you need to find the inverse of this uh, matrix. Now how to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix? It's a very elementary thing. Anyway, I'll tell you it is adjoint day by determinant day. What is the determinant of this matrix? It is 1 by s into s plus 1. s into s plus 1 is your determinant. Now how will you find the adjoint day? Adjoint day is first. You have to reverse these two terms and then change the sign of these two terms. That is S plus 1 will come here. S will come here. So it will be S plus 1 and S. Then change the sign of these two elements. That is 1 and 0. So this is your inverse into 0 and 1. Okay. So this is your what X of S. Okay. Now first take the product of these two matrices. What will be your answer? First row into, sorry, it is not 0, 1, it is 1, 0. Okay, I am sorry. So, your x of 0 is actually 1, 0. 1, 0. Again, here also 1, 0. Okay. Now, if you take the product of these two matrices, what will you get? It is S plus 1. It is equal to S plus 1. That is this row into this column. That is S plus 1 into 1 is S plus 1. Now 1 into plus 1 into 0 is 0. So that terms will get cancelled. Now this row into this column. Means 0 into 1 is 0. Plus S into 0 is 0. So it is a 0. Okay. So that is the product. Now into there is a term. That is a determinant term outside. Okay. So you have to multiply it with a determinant also. That is S plus 1 by S plus 1 and 0. That is a product of these two matrices. Now, if, if you multiply this determinant inside the matrix, what will you get? You will get 1 by S and 0. 
So this is your x of s now. So you have got your x of s. And what is x of t from x of s? x of s you have got. What is x of t? Take the inverse Laplace of this matrix. What is the inverse, inverse Laplace of 1 by s? It is 1. It represents a unit step function. And uh, the inverse Laplace of 0 is 0. Okay. Now, if you say see this expression of y of t, it is having y of t equal to 0, 1 into x of t or that is x1 of t into x2 of t. Now, you have your x of t in your hand. Substitute the value of x of t here and then you can find the result. Okay. I'll show it. That is your y of t is equal to from the state variable expressions you have 0, 1 into your x1 of t, x of uh, x2 of t is equal to x of t, right? So you can write it as x of t and now you have obtained your x of t value. So 0, 1 into x of t is 1, 0. Now if you take the product of these two matrices, it will be equal to 0. So the y of t value you have obtained as 0. Okay, so this is how you have to solve your state variable questions. Now in the question, what all things are being given? This much of things is being given, right? That is x, x, x dot of t and x2 dot of t is given. So this is the state variable equations. Now from this, you have to find your state matrix. And also you know that the general form of your state transition matrix is phi of s equal to s into i minus a the whole inverse. Okay, so where S is the Laplace matrix, I is the identity matrix and A is your state matrix which you have to uh, find from your question or otherwise it will be given in a question. So from this question, here A is 0, 1 and 0, minus 1. So first take the value of A and then find the value of your state transition matrix and then find its inverse. Okay, and then multiply that with your x0. The x0 is given as 0 and 1. So take the product of that two matrices and then, uh, then, then simplify it. And then you have your equation for y of t. Substitute the value of x of t you have obtained in your y of t equation. And then you will find your y of t. So from this question, we have studied how to solve the questions on state transition matrices. Okay. So here the correct answer is your option D, which is 0. That is your output function is 0.